perceptive English learners have noticed that the T in English can have different pronunciations. In this lesson, I will teach you when to pronounce the T as a CH. I will talk about only what happens in American English, however. In British English, things are a little bit different here. T is pronounced as a CH when it's in the following word endings. T-U-R-E, as in the words picture, adventure, and signature. And there are many, many more common words in English that have the T-U-R-E endings. And then similar words are T-U-R-A-L, as in natural and cultural. You'll notice that these words are derived from T-U-R-E endings. Nature, natural, culture, cultural. Also included in words that have the T pronounced as C-H are the endings T-U-A-L, as in virtual and spiritual, and then the related ending T-U-A-L and then L-Y added to that, as in eventually and actually. Notice the T is always followed by a U when it's pronounced as a CH. Now there are also a few other common words where the T is pronounced as CH as well. For example, the word century, the word statue, situation, and the word fortune and its related forms, fortunate, fortunately, and unfortunately. And finally, congratulations. Now that's a mouthful, but it's a word we use a lot in English. So go ahead and repeat that with me. Congratulations. Congratulations. It has five syllables. And the primary stress syllable is lay. Congratulations. Once you know the rules, they're easy to apply. Piece of cake. Thanks for watching.